Psychologist Endel Tolving said, remembering is mental time travel. So a latte for Joe? Oh, thanks. Remembering is one of the greatest powers that we possess. Yes. The ability to learn from our past, to return to where we've been, so we can decide where we're going. Oh, man. But can we return to where we've never been? So a latte for Joe? Yeah. Uh, thanks. Could have sworn I just... Is it me or does this seem familiar? I feel like I've seen this before. Oh, man. Or as the French would say, deja vu. As many as 90% of us will experience deja vu during our lives, mainly in our teens and 20s, and almost never before age eight or nine. Deja vu isn't a physical phenomenon we can pinpoint in a brain scan, it's a feeling, and not one that we totally understand. But we've got a few theories. Our memories aren't exact copies that we just write once and then store like files on a computer or pictures in a box under our bed. Remembering is really more like reliving. Our brains are constantly scanning our senses to determine if what we're experiencing is familiar. And once we label a stimulus as familiar, a different brain region called the hippocampus recalls the memory associated with it, refiring the neural circuits that hold that piece of our past, and we live the experience again in our minds. If these steps get out of sync, if something is deemed familiar but we fail to recall the context, that could be deja vu. But that doesn't explain why we feel deja vu for experiences that are truly unfamiliar, or why we don't experience it for every familiar thing. So a latte for Joe? Yep. We don't realize how hard our brains work behind the scenes, filtering our environment, <laughs> gesundheit, unconsciously determining if what we experience is new, until it doesn't work. Oh. Our various sensory inputs, smells, sounds, sights, are normally processed and mixed together as one event. Another deja vu theory says if one of those stimuli is recorded out of sync, the late arriving information could be flagged as a different event, which makes it feel as if it's happened before. Or it could be a malfunction in how memories are made in the first place. Normally new experiences stop off in our short-term memory before being written into long-term storage skip the first, and it could feel like we're recalling new events as old ones. Or perhaps when we focus on one part of our environment, the rest of our world drifts to the unconscious. And when we snap back to reality, it feels like we've been there before, because we have, just now. These feelings of misplaced familiarity are familiar to us, but the what, the where, and the why of deja vu remain unknown. So a latte for Got it, thanks. All in all, there's dozens of plausible explanations for it, and maybe more than one is right. Bless you. Bless you. There's no neat answer, but no mind or memory is perfect. The only way we'll get to the bottom of deja vu is to experience it all over again. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I could've. Stay curious. We'd like to think we walk through our lives completely conscious, free to choose whatever we like, totally, completely in control. Not even close. Our bodies leave a lot to autopilot, which is a good thing, because imagine having to regulate your heartbeat and your breathing and your digestive system and your body temperature, all while not peeing your pants and falling down. That would be hard. <laughs>